Hello beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. Pots and Petals here, everything garden and allotment related. So we've got a beautiful day today, the sun's out, there's a few clouds in the sky and it's not as windy as yesterday, so you should be able to hear me a little bit better. So I do want to try and focus on quite a few jobs today. So as you can see, the paths, I haven't been down here for a couple of weeks, they could do with a real good mow and a strim so we're going to get those all done today and then i would like to try and focus over in this corner over here so the parsnips have well and truly gone over now we do have more parsnips at the back there for the seeds so i just want to tidy this area up give it a bit of a dig over and also try and focus a little bit on the seating area over here it's turned into a bit of a dumping ground so give that a nice tidy up so that it's a little bit nicer to sit and chill in and then anything else really is a plus. I think I've got to try and water the the plot today. It's been a few days since we've last had any rain. I mean, we did get a good downpour um, just a few days ago, but we'll give it another water. We'll see what other little jobs we can find around the plot. That's all my grass paths all nicely neatened up now I did run out of strimmer battery for just down here but I got most of it done so I'll just finish that off next time I'm here now this is becoming a bit of a mess now it is quite wild it is a wild area but next year I do need to think about splitting the napina and also thinning out quite a lot of this nigella because that pear tree at the back certainly doesn't like it and I also need to start thinking about what I can have in here throughout the summer months, not just during the springtime. And yes, all a little bit tired in here. We have got the Oxide Daisy popping up. Uh, we've got quite a few marigolds at the back. And this is one of my dahlias. One that survived over the winter. There's this beautiful little pink tinge to the petals. And we've got plenty of buds still to go. So keep on top of your deadheading. I'm hoping that all this bare area down here is going to start to pop up with some cosmos and some marigolds, but I do just need to keep on top of the watering down there for any seedlings. And then if we just pan round over here, we've got the crow cosmia, which is out. Now these are bright yellow trumpet-like flowers. Absolutely beautiful. They don't have a scent, but I think the ones down here are red. They normally come out a little bit later. I think they come from South Africa, so they do like the heat. And they don't like too much water. I've given this area a really good cut down because I really need to start thinking about what I want to do with this area over the autumn period. It's one area of the allotment which has always stayed wild, so I want to do something with it rather than just having these, these nettles growing. So the grass is slowly moving over to that side, which is something that I wanted. Just I think the grass around the pond is quite nice. I've given this area a good hack back so I can start seeing what area I've got to play with. But I do need to think about the light levels around here. So at the moment the sun does come in, but we do have to think about that walnut tree there. I'm not too sure about that tree. And then we've got the elder just above here. So I could think about cutting a couple of the branches down just to allow some more light in here because I am thinking of um, a couple of dwarf fruit trees maybe and a little seating area. So that is tucked away um, just behind there so that would be quite a nice little hideaway. And Nikki in the comments, thank you Nikki, um, she saw my logs in my previous video and she talked about doing a stumpery which I think is a really good idea. I do like my ferns. So I'm thinking maybe an area around the corner where we can have the logs to rot down for the wildlife. 
and then I can just start thinking about that area more as a wildlife seating area. So somewhere for both me to enjoy, but also the wildlife. There's nothing better than sitting enjoying a nice cup of tea, a nice cup of coffee, watching the birds, even insects I find incredible. So need to really think about what I'm going to do around here. So any ideas as well, pop them in the comments. Mr. Sunflower teasing us. Not quite ready yet, but give it a week and this guy should be beaming bright. So I just want to focus on this area. The parsnips have well and truly gone over. They're not much use now. There's no more pollen on there, but there are quite a few ladybird larvae. So I will just put them on the compost heap and the larvae will eventually hatch into the ladybirds. So they'll be absolutely fine. I just want this area to look a little bit more tidier. So let's see what we can get on with. There we have it, giving it a real good tidy up. So I've got rid of all those parsnips that were in this bed just along here. And then at the back, there were loads of just weeds, nigella. I just wanted to give it a real good clear out. So I think I'm gonna try some peas in there just to keep something going in the ground. And then this bed here is actually gonna be my asparagus bed next year. It's, the soil isn't great, it's quite sandy. So I know I need to improve it quite a bit. As I was adding all of this onto the compost heap, I've realized that we've got a wasp nest. So come on, let's go take a look. Came over to add some more composting material on top and I gave it a good press down and tons, well, a good hundred of wasps just seem to be swarming out. So I'll just try and zoom you in a little. Um, can you see them all? They are diddly little wasps. but. Diddly little wasps are only going to grow into bigger wasps. So I need to get home and do a little bit of research on what to do with a wasp's nest. And I should probably put a little sign on here just in case anybody does come near because this is right at the end where the public footpath is. So I don't want anybody to get stung. But if anybody's got any tips or ideas on how to get rid of a wasp nest in a, in a compost bin, please let me know. I've never had this happen before. I found these little guys over in the wild area on the nettles. It's just this shows the importance of keeping some places just to go a little wild for the nature. I'm not too sure what these are, whether these are caterpillars or moths. Uh, I left my little insect book at home, but I'll find out and I'll pop the name on the screen. But look, they're just amazing. There's quite a few on here. And nettles are really important in the ecosystem because they're a host for so many types of butterflies and moths. Not only will these turn into beautiful moths or butterflies, but these caterpillars are a great source of food for young birds and fledglings at this time of year. I found the little caterpillars just down there in the corner. This is the little seat that I've got. And this is the wild area next to the pond. I'll do a proper update with what's blooming at this time of year. We've got a few flowers out that weren't out in my last video. But I'm just letting everything just just run run wild. Got a mixture of things that I've planted up in there, and then weeds that I'm not too too worried about. To be fair, as long as they're bringing some form of nectar or habitat to, to the wildlife, and all of this is just down next to the to the pond area there. So it might look a bit of a mess in there, but if you can see, just glistening, we've got some red currants. And also towards the back end, we've got some pink currants that are ready for harvesting. So you want to get these before they start to go over, and berries do go over quite quickly. But they do really well in the freezer. I also find that picking them off in bunches now and just popping them in the freezer like that, it's a lot easier to take the stalks off once the berries are frozen. You can use them in all sorts of desserts, and you can even make a red currant jelly, which is good with red meat, I believe. So there's my harvest of berries for today. If you'd seen in yesterday's video, I went home with an absolute glut of gooseberries. So if you've got any idea of what to do with all of these, please drop them down in the comments below. I reckon I've got another six, seven times this amount to harvest. Uh, we've got the red currants down here as well, and the pink currants in the corner. And we'll just take these home and get them straight into the freezer, as they'll last, I don't know, quite a few months really. Um, but they never really last that long. I add them into my cereal in the morning, uh, gooseberry fall and gooseberry jam, and also the red currant jelly is a good one as well. As and when I start making these things, I will bring you along with me, just so that you can see how I cook these up in the kitchen. I have quite a few berries on in there. 
so the birds can come in there and feast until their heart's content. I'll leave that uncovered. I also just need to give it a tidy up in there. We've got bindweed, we've got nettles and brambles all coming in from, from next door. So that's something that I'll, <clears throat> I'll do next week. And I'll probably still get another harvest or two off there. We have got the white currant here in this corner as well. Uh, they're not quite ready just yet. So really I need to try and get in there, tidy it up so those berries have got a little bit more sunlight to ripen. That's all we've got time for today, folks. It's been a bit of a mundane couple of days down here, just getting a few things tidied up, just because I haven't been able to get down to the plot for a couple of weeks. So once that's all under control, I will be doing a update in the wildlife areas and maybe in the ponds for you, just so that you can see what's in flower this time of year. And hopefully I'll be able to get a few more recipe videos out to you with all of those gooseberries red currants and other produce that I'm starting to harvest from the allotment. I'll be back again next weekend down the plot for another adventure and I'll bring you guys along with me. I hope you've all had a really lovely weekend and I hope you all have a great week ahead of you and I'll see you down here again soon for another day at the plot. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all of that good stuff and I'll see you again soon. Take care guys, bye bye.